Welcome to this reflection. Choose life so that you and your descendants will live. We read in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 30. This text from the book of Deuteronomy is well known. It reminds us that we are free to choose and that God respects human freedom. Throughout Deuteronomy, we are invited to reflect on our faithfulness to God and our own hearts. The text makes it clear that there are two worldviews, one that leads to death and the other to life. The decisions we make can lead to physical death, but there are decisions we make that do not lead to physical death, but they kill our souls or those of others. We can choose to be loving or unloving, selfish or generous, bitter or forgiving, divisive or peacemakers, and we act according to the worldview we hold. If we think life is about getting even, we will do anything to get even. If we think life is about justice and peace, we will work to ensure justice is done and that we are peacemakers. Today we celebrate the feast of Saint Ignatius Loyola. After a war injury, Ignatius was at a crossroad. He had to metaphorically choose life or death. Choosing life meant embarking upon a long process of conversion, being molded into living a worldview radically different from the one he held. He was asked to let go of his desire to become a recognized and famous knight, his desire for power and riches. Ignatius embraces a life of conversion. He becomes a poor pilgrim who has to beg for his next meal. He chose a radically different life to the one he envisioned. He chose life for his soul. And we're invited on this feast to do the same, to choose what will give our souls life and freedom over that which enslaves us in discontentment and death. Sometimes we are fearful of the path of conversion because of what it may cost us or what others may think. St. Ignatius learns and teaches us that the cost is far outweighed by the freedom and life a good choice breathes into our souls. What choices do you have to make at this time? What fears stop you from choosing life? Let's pray. Lord, teach me to be generous to myself. Teach me what choices will give me the life and freedom I truly desire. Grace me with the gift of courage, so that I can truly walk the way of conversion, the way of life that leads to you. Amen. May God bless you and happy feast day.